Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I am here with uh, the usual crew, Anna and Christian. What's up? Hello, good evening, and welcome You're to Lucas. Microcasters. So, uh, so there we go. I think that we uh, started, you know, somewhat on time and and all that type of thing too. So, Let's hopefully, we won't have any issues. Yeah, except for your AirPods died. They died. Like not um, even like charge died. They like aren't taking sound right now. Mic's not working. So pretty much since we've been on the show, you've been through two pairs of AirPods now, right? That is correct. If I can't resurrect these. That's Bummer. Rough. Well, I, th I don't think they actually yet. resurrect AirPods. It's just they give you a new <laughs> pair, right? Well, don't know. you might be able to jumpstart them or something. Yeah, I'm not going to fix them. Or... If you put them in the freezer in a bag of rice for three weeks or something like that. Could be. You got AirPod mic fixing tips. Uh, holla at your boy. That's me. There, there you go. So... So anyway, so uh, I guess over uh, the last few weeks, we've made enough trips to the store um, to uh, to pick this guy up through grocery runs, uh, right? I think between myself and Christian, I think we've we went to to Walmart a couple times, and um, if uh, if you go to Walmart, I think now they have a or at least not all, every Walmart, but a lot of them have a huge end cap of Transformers. It's like more Transformers than I've ever seen at, at Walmart at one time. Like since the, you know, I don't even know what movie. May, maybe the Age of Extinction? No, Revenge of the Fallen. That's how long it's been since we've seen that many toys. Although they had a big giant display for Bumblebee when they had all their reissue minibots out. Mm, yeah. Been a while, I would say. But yeah, but it's, it's nice now because... The little in cap that it came with came with Earthrise figures, came with, or not Earthrise. Well, it came with Earthrise, it came with the Siege Netflix figures, and then they also had Cyberverse figures. So it's kind of a nice assortment of, uh, yeah, of figures. it's a big old thing. It's, it's, Lucas call it in cap. It's a bit of a misnomer. It's one of those big, giant display things in the middle of the aisle. Like it's just a big honking mama. It's great. There's so many toys in it. There's like, at least 50 or 60 toys in there. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm glad you're so yeah, excited something. by it. Hey, you know, if I had known those were coming, I would have been able to pick up all my stuff in one scoop instead of all over the course of like a month and a half. But, you know, it's it's good. I'm glad other people have an opportunity. I want to say thank you to Christian for sending me one because I have not left my house in almost three months. So, therefore, I did not go and get this myself, but Christian sent it to me. And I appreciate that. You're he welcome. sent me a box full of purple mediocrity, and I appreciate it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. I'm just playing. I'm just oh, playing. Geez. So. So, yeah, so, yeah purple so mediocrity. It's not mediocre. What we're saying, we've been holding up this entire time. We're talking about the Netflix Siege Mirage. We are. Not and he's purple. Name. Decepticon Mirage. Mirage. Decepticon Mirage. So I haven't seen the package. Is he listed as a Decepticon? Like fully? He is listed yes. as a Decepticon. Yeah. So if you're if you're ten years old and you're getting your first Mirage ever, you're like Mirage is a bad guy. I now Surprise. know this. Yeah. Interesting. So I'm not sure if you are aware of this, Anna, or not, based on the figure that you had, but there's a Decepticon symbol on his chest. And so that actually typically represents, you know, that that faction. No, that was a, oh, hers was a good point. Mine did not have that until now. It has magically appeared. Uh, yes, on the box, it's also listed as Decepticon. I think it just yeah. yeah I was just curious, Mirage. like if it was like Autobot I spy Decepticon Mirage, or if it was like it's Mirage but he's a spy, or what it was. Uh, Nick, if you're out there, correct me, but I'm pretty sure they haven't been able to have a Transformer just called. Mirage in quite some time. He's usually Autobot Mirage. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm right about that. So now he's the Stepticon Mirage. They have to have a, a strengthening prefix. The 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 Siege figure was Autobot Mirage. Like you can still get it on Pulse. And uh, yeah. Yeah, but like the official name is Autobot Mirage. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Yes. 
I they pretty much do that on all of their figures now, just because Mirage is not like unique enough. So like they can trademark yeah, if it's, if Autobot it's Mirage, but not yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they had to do a different process to get Decepticon Mirage. I bet you they did. Well, so I'm sure they probably had to register me. that name too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think our reason for doing this figure was that we technically haven't spoke about it directly, right? Because we talked about the three pack, but we didn't talk about the normal deco mirage. We have not. Yep, you right? got away from us. Right? You got away from us, right? Right. So we we knew this was coming through our magical absolutely not. Because no one knew this was coming. No, this was this was a pleasant surprise. Truly a surprise, yeah. We didn't figure... Well, okay, so I don't think any of us even expected that there would be a weird Netflix toy line before it got announced, and we definitely didn't expect that there would be a Purple Mirage in it, but both of those things happened, and we don't mind either. Yeah. So, I've talked about this figure a little bit when I was on Ouch a couple weeks ago, because I had him then, and I want to highlight... He's in robot mode now for me i want to highlight the new paint operation technique i suppose that they're using for all these netflix figures and if we talk about more netflix figures we'll get into a little bit more but i'm going to see if i can show you here especially on like the thighs and anything that has this gray paint it's all a gradient which is really yeah. interesting because it's so like strong up here this is the top or i guess the bottom whatever you want to say the, the front of the arm piece and then it kind of fades as it gets closer to the elbow i really like that it's it's some sort of experimental technique it looks fantastic it's kind of grayish blue all of the other figures kind of use gradient painting in a way as well and we'll, we'll get to those later but it's stunning is, in person is this the first time for gradient paint on a transformer to this degree i think yeah Okay. Because I think it kind of shows battle damage genius, but it doesn't use space mud, which is cool. He does have some battle damage actual paint operations here on the shoulders, but you can well, see it on this chest here. It's like fully gray plastic here, and it goes. But those are totally right different types of battle damage applications. Yeah, it's it's like, not before space it was mud. just kind of like splotchy mud. Now this mm -hmm. looks like. This looks like an ink print straight from yep. like a heavy ink 90s, early 2000s comic book. Well, the thing yeah. that's interesting is, is like the underlying figure for most of these is completely gray. Like it seemed like that, you know, I don't know if Hasbro got a great deal on some gray plastic or what, but um, like es essentially all of the colored parts that you see or most of the colored parts, not all of them, but most of them are paint. Which is like, I mean, I, I don't know that like these Netflix figures have to be the most paint that we've ever seen on a mainline figure before, right? I mean, as far as like the whole line, not necessarily just this figure. It looks like it. It may not be. Really close, cool. yeah. If somehow it's, you know, the same number of paint operations are just doing it better. Uh, but it, it certainly appears to be the most paint we've gotten on a whole line. And I think yeah, that, you know, that, this is what I've been asking for for years and years mm -hmm. is like, I just want figures with like, you know, some nice paint and some, you know, like it actually looks good and not some kind of crappy stickers and, or not like, you know, complete lack of details or whatever, as some of the combiner wars figures had, um, you know, so this is, this is kind of like that, that middle ground that it's like. You know, 20 bucks for this is a great value. We are so thankful to be away from stickers. That is such a great thing. I mean, stickers, oh, stickers in general are, are nice. Done like, well. they can't totally be done well. They haven't been for a while. Right? Yeah, Titans and Power of the Primes was hard. Hard. Yeah, those need us worry about stickers. So yeah, if um, we haven't really talked about this figure before, so as far as like the robot mode, um, which I think you guys both have yours in robot mode still, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't had a car in mine, so we can talk about car in a second. Um, but the robot mode is pretty nice. It's like as articulated as you expect a siege figure to be. So it's got most of the, you know, it's got the ankle tilts and the 
Um, well, mostly the angle tilt is the big feature, right? Because everything else is pretty standard. It doesn't have wrist rotation, but it does have like they pull out. It doesn't have a swivel, I mean to say. And then yeah. um, I don't think there's a whole lot of head movement on him. There's just kind of a, a left right turning. Um, I mean, you can get a little bit up and down, but it's not a lot. Yeah, it's, it's just not really an up like and down. Theor theoretically, if like there was more space, you could. Um, but yeah, you're just limited up by that. It's fun for posing, so I always like to have it because I like to have them in kind of a hunch looking for pose. But you know, if it's not there, it's not there. It's not. It's not as essential as having some sort of foot rotation in order to get them to do poses. But yeah, the feet on this, the thing that's nice is, is that, um, you know, not all the figures have like the ankle rocker and tilt, but, uh, this one does on, um, so it has, it can go side to side and front. Back. Does. Yeah. yeah. And the arms move just fine. You know, no, the wrist rotation's the same, but they're not too hollow. Like there's the hollowness at the wrist, but otherwise they look okay. And because of the color of the plastic, it doesn't look bad. I like the way it comes out. Also yeah. kind of important to note, he's got waist swivel that you would think would be encumbered by the big old chest piece, but nope, it just goes right over it. Pretty cool. Good way swivel. He's got good paint all around. And like those ink splotches are strange. I'm just not sure how I feel about the ink splotches. The, the very dark the oil, the oil of his enemies. Sure, the oil of his enemies. That that like actually blood. makes it cooler. You've yeah. convinced me. Robot it's blood. It's a very dark, very strong application as opposed to the more gradient, soft paint colors. So it just it, it comes up very strong. Like whereas I think the original battle damage was kind of subtle. This is not subtle. This is like hardcore, like I said, nineties um, comic book art. Get out an ink pen and just go crazy with it. Yeah, I'm not sure it was really needed. I mean, that that's the thing I kind of like on, on some of these figures is they put like this extra little application and it's like, you know, I, I think that I would have been fine if you would have just not not put that there. Yeah. So are these like dark splotches, like the black inky oil stuff? Is that a constant across the Netflix figures or is that just him? No, just him. I mean, there's other... Just him, okay. It, unless yeah. it's Sideswipe and how I'm done. I don't think so. Hey, the I only other one I much. have is the little <laughs> sausage guy. We're, we're going to put Randall to sleep. Wake up, um, Randall. We'll do our best, Randall. We'll do our best to make you tired. <laughs> we'll talk in monotone voices so that... <laughs> I yeah. always talk in a monotone voice, so we're super <laughs> subtle. Wait, does he need to go to sleep? Does he need to stay awake? He needs to stay awake. He says he's trying to stay awake, but... Wake up! This is exciting. We're talking about a traitor here. You know, he comes in that big old box, you know, the big old Walmart display case with Cliff Jumper. I'm surprised all those Cliff Jumpers haven't jumped out and murdered these figures. That's all right. Finally, Cliff They're Jumper's very really in it after all this time. So the thing I think is funny is, is that, um, you know, Walmart had this whole thing with Ultra Magnus and like the blind box, whatever type of thing, all that. Right. And, and you're supposed to leave it closed to not spoil the show, yada, yada. Like, I think this seems more interesting than whatever stuff came in that Ultra Magnus box. But like I was saying earlier, what if the spoiler now is because older fans don't know of Mirage as an auto, or younger fans don't know of Mirage as an Autobot? Maybe that's the spoiler now. Maybe it'll be like he's actually presented as a Decepticon, and a few episodes in, he's like, takes off his mask. He's like, man, hey, hey, I have an Autobot. Well, you never the, know. Uh, the backstory from the Amazon page for the three pack. You know, Mirage then came with Aragon and Impactor, and Impactor was a Decepticon. What the the story bit said was that Mirage was going undercover as a Decepticon to attempt to recruit Impactor. So maybe we'll actually see that play out in the show, and he'll he'll look oh, like this. Cool. That'd be really great. Who who really? knows if you know that's part of the plan or not? But someone had to come with that story somewhere and then add it to the product listing. Like we don't so get that on the is, box anymore. Yours is still robot, right, Christian? It is. Because you hold up his legs. My only legs. problem with this figure. 
is that there's really not a good place to stick those wheels in his legs. Like they can kind of go behind, they can kind of push out to the side a bit, but no matter what, they are going to, they're going to encumber posing a little, which is a bit of a bummer. Like they're not terrible. They're just kibble hanging off the back. Like he's well weighted and he stands just fine. It's just, they look a little preposterous. They they extend about as far back as the heel spurs do. And I, (laughs) I think that's ultimately fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. But the thing I do like, like the counter effect to that, or the counterpoint, counterpoint, is those shoulder fades. The upper arms where they can either be down, like, you know, original Mirage style, or they can be up like shoulder, like little fins, little wings. And even though that makes his arms have gaps in them, I think it looks cool to have the... The wings so he can go gliding or whatever. I like this is fun. Do, do, you, do you like the arm, the, the fact that the wings are so big? Like, do you like that or would you rather that the, they had been a little bit smaller? I like them the size just because they can do the cool shoulder wing thing. If they couldn't mm-hmm. do that, I would want them smaller. I think they're fine the way they are. They look proportionate to the rest of the body, so I'm I'm totally fine with it. Mm-hmm. Not everything can be classic Mirage. Oh, that figure's amazing. Yeah, sure. What anyway, figure's amazing? Back to this Sorry, point. which one? Classics Mirage. Classics Mirage. Oh, uh, mm, I like this one better. Oh, you are insane. You guys are. I just, ridiculous. I don't know what yeah, it is. I just never really liked that figure. that figure. Right, I know. So Somehow the yeah. two people that don't like classics mirages are on both Listeners the in the chat, vindicate me. Please, please tell them how amazing that figure is. No, it's only it's okay. Great. He has a tiny head. You have a tiny head. I do not. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> only be accurate, please. <laughs> <laughs> My insults are never accurate. So, anyway, his robot mode is pretty cool. I'm going to say that, like, I noticed, so I didn't get to play with um, the regular white and blue Mirage. You know, I only had the clear one, and I never really got to see the, um, I never really got to see the details on it, because it's really hard to pick out the details on that clear blue version. Mm -hmm. And now that I've seen it, like, it's a cool figure. It's good. I'm not going to give it quite like a great as far as robot mode because there are cooler robot modes coming in this line, but it's still really cool. It's just a little bit lifeless to me, like just a little bit. I don't know what it is about the way he's made. He just doesn't look very lively. Eh. Catherine in the chat says Combiner Wars Mirage forever. So actually, I like that one quite a bit too. I don't like that one at all. Anything over classics. I think I like this one probably best. That's going to make me quit the show. I'm going to have to start a classic <laughs> Mirage only show. There you go. And I'll start my um, calculation cane. Yep, this is this yeah. is the fracturing moment. Yes. It'll be great. Christian will just be like, up. classics is the best line ever. It never got, that was the high point. It never got any better, just worse. Yep, I'll just review them like over and over again in sequence. Like, hey, yeah. it's three months later. It's time to review Classics oh, Optimus Prime again. Let's do it. Yeah, but I mean, I, th- I feel like that this Mirage, the Seas Mirage was kind of like overlooked, like even we did. Like we didn't do a review of the, the figure because the three pack came out and whatever. But it's yeah. like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it was a really nice figure. Like there's just so many <laughs> nice figures Good. that came out in the, in the right. Seas line that... You know, he kind of got missed, and a lot of people complained about um, the the back. So, like, it had he has a fake chest, and so then that becomes the back of the car. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really think it's an issue. Like, I just, it's just not an issue for me. It looks dumb if you focus on it, but I don't think the eyes naturally go to it. Like, I think when you just hold it up and you look at a toy car, I don't think the eyes go just, oh, look at that. I don't right. think it's really a, a call out to it. I think it's just uh, 
it's something that if you focus on, okay, yeah, his symbols back there, it looks like it's kind of like the front of the car again. You get confused. You start turning him around. I get that, but... If, if you are the yeah. one collector in the world who displays their Transformers figures in vehicle mode from the back, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> if you are that one person, this will be bad for you, but otherwise... It's fine. I only like car butts, so I only put those you know in my what? display. <laughs> you know what? It's out. Someone's out there who does that. And if they're Probably. one of our listeners, you know, more power to them. Thank you for coming. It would be well, interesting. You need to play. So, um, I was going to say, I was thinking Cliff Jumper, right? Like, the one thing that's somewhat annoying is, is, okay, so the Mirage, the way the way that you have it with the figure, like, you can't really see what the Autobot or Decepticon symbol in yeah. vehicle mode is, like, here in the back or whatever. Like, unless you're that one collector displaying it from the back, right? But that's the funny is, is, like, Cliff Jumper, I wish they put the dang symbol on his chest for Autobot mode, but they don't. It's just in vehicle mode. So it's kind of like they, for some reason, they're doing it the opposite depending on the figure. Yeah, because honestly, if there was a symbol here, this actually gets put inside of the legs. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be showing up in a weird spot or anything. I guess it would be halfway wasted because it would only appear in car mode. But at the same time, like, I'd be okay with that. I would give up one of my ink blotches for that. <laughs> Not a big fan of the ink blotches, I see. But they're, they're fine, but I'd rather have the symbol. He also has two weapons. We didn't show this off. Um, yes. And Lucas, do you sure, want to yeah. talk about your observation of the weapons for the entire line? So all of the weapons, none of them have any paint on them. They're, well, I shouldn't say that because I guess the uh, scrap face, technically, I guess what his shield or whatever has oh, paint yeah, on it. Oh, yeah, technically the shield. But outside of that, I, I believe all the other weapons are just cast in this gray plastic. And so I don't know if they like ran out of paint budget from the figures or if they're trying something out to see like how much people complain about the weapons <laughs> not having paint. Like, like they're like, well, if no one complains that maybe we'll just stop putting paint on the weapons and devote it all to the, to the figure. You know, I, I don't know what the reason is, but um, I don't know. I, I, I wish okay if that was the trade I had to make. Yeah. I really I, would. I wish, I wish that they had it, but it doesn't, like, I feel like, you know, again, Ultra Magnus is probably the only one that kind of bugs me on. I wish they had the red missiles, um, but that is, this isn't a review of that, show, you know, figure, but. Right. But, you know, honestly, like, when we were going through the C-Cons, most of them have the single color weapons as well. And I really don't like the single color weapons because my eyes just see them as looking like G1 things. Like it just reminds me of my bag of G1 parts that I don't know who they go to that are all these single color weapon blobs. Hmm. It just, I don't know. I feel like they need a little more detail these days. But they are detailed, right? Like there's a lot of molded yeah. detail in these guys. Of detail. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, you know, you could do like I've done with a couple of figures, get a little box of gun markers and do a couple of paint apps to it. And it would look totally different. Or and as, as fine. some of us are doing, you uh, buy some accessories from non F or somebody else. Like I th there's several different uh, ones that are making accessories uh, for the siege and Earthrise figures and then you can just have more G1 accurate weapons anyway and just toss those other weapons to the side. You sure could. Did you say muffins? Weapons? Okay, cool. I swore you said toss those other muffins to the side. I'm like... <laughs> he did. He tossed them to the side. If you don't no, there there you go. Like, the muffins are interesting. Uh, toss those muffins there. to the side. Don't Bye, you know muffins. that old saying? <laughs> toss like your muffins to the side. I have no idea. Toss your so. muffins aside and get to work, Christian. Okay. Jeez. I'm surprised you haven't heard that one. <laughs> My mom always said it. That's Lucas's catchphrase now. But again, like both of the Mirage figures too have painted wheels, which I absolutely love. And I hope that like that should just be a thing, you know, 100% of the time on Transformers. The wheels. I, it annoys me when they don't paint the wheels. It looks so cheap. So. Yeah, the wheels look good. Yeah, honestly, like, in picture, and even the blue one, 
I didn't like the car mode, but in person, I actually like the car mode quite a bit. Like as far as siege car modes go, this is one that, okay, it's straight up not Cybertronian. Right. It is, it is just a, it's just a car. It's just a race car. It doesn't really have any Cybertronian play. I guess you could say like, because it has a big back bend or because it has hands up here. But you know, mm. it's, it's not really, it's just a race car. It's fine, though. It's yeah. good. Right. It fits in with Earthrise. Yeah, I don't mind him on the shelf right. in this mode. Like, I wouldn't put him in this mode very long because I like the robot modes, but still, it's not terrible at all. It's pretty good. So, and and I think that really, that, so the question is, like, with this line, like, you know, if you're not buying them all... And I mean, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, getting them all, but bonus. like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot it comes with that card, which you have to buy them all in order to get all of the cards to make a, uh, um, the Teletran. This is a floor piece. Yay. And, you know, I, I think I may have talked about Chromia at some point and, and showed off that one. That's probably on the same out episode. These cards are, you know, thin, they're cardboard, but the print quality is very good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm happy to have it. Yeah, the print quality is huge. I do wish they were on a, like, thicker card stock. Right. I really do. Like, but, the, the you know, three stages would be great for that, but... I, mean, I, think if you, I think if you had to, like, once you get it together or whatnot, just, you know, if you wanted to glue it to something else, you always could. Just put another <laughs> card stock behind it and glue yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if you just had, like, a poster board, like, a random, just buy a poster right. board from Walmart and just lay each one on, glue it together, and then cut them out, I think that wouldn't make them big enough that they wouldn't fit in the notches. So I think it would still actually function. Yeah, you could do it. It would be a bit of effort, and it really depends on, do we have a enough parts to put it together yet or does no one have enough parts no, to, really you have to put have, it together yet? You have to have the you other have future have ways. Okay. You have to have wave two. And no, you have to have wave one. Oh okay. I so wave they... one will build something. Wave wave one builds Teldrain. Okay. Does it? Got okay. It. I it's I guess five, I need five to pieces. Yeah. Okay. And Lucas, I haven't put mine together yet. I thought they to I thought you it, had to actually a picture of it and share yeah. it with everyone. It's your homework. I'd have done it, but uh, I or, I ordered these. Or not ordered, but uh, I bought the other two pieces I need from Nick, and uh, I, I haven't gotten them yet. He will send them. Just I only have one piece, and if anyone out there really wants to get rid of their pieces and sell them to Anna, let Anna know. I would like to have them, but I don't want any more deluxes from the set. So. I just want the other pieces. Scrap this is the kind of like the way I do displays. I hate that mold. Stop it! I already own four of that garbage mold. That's a nut. That's not a garbage mold. It's the best reflector. Oh, it's but terrible. Yeah, that's okay. Best reflector. It might be the best mold from Siege. I would prefer to pay ninety dollars for a legend size one from Magic Square or nice. New Age. Then pay sixty dollars for those terrible shoulder monsters. Very strong on that figure. Very strong. But anyway, as I was saying, if anyone has pieces they want to get to me, please let me know. I would love to have the pieces. Well, thank you, Catherine. I gave double barrage pieces. That's something. Nice. But uh, what I was going to say is, is, so if you're not, like, collecting the whole line, like, if someone, uh, I think that this and, like, Scrap Face, like, those are kind of figures that are different enough that, like, if you already own the mold, it's kind of nice to have. Like, if I was to only own one Mirage, it would be the original Siege one, um, but as far as, you know, for this mold. But if you're collecting multiples and you want some diversity, then I... I think that uh, you know this mirage is is a nice. It's it's different enough from the uh, original one. No, this is worth it. It's it's a good figure. It's premium paint and deco, and it's normal price. So I would say it's definitely worth getting. It's I wouldn't say it's a great figure. I would definitely say it's only good. But that's only because of the quality of figures we have right now. 
Like we have some really amazing deluxes out there. But I think, like, you know, Catherine was saying that she really loves the Combiner Wars Mirage. And so, like, if you have the Combiner Wars, again, this is different enough from that, that, yeah. you know, you can it's feel cool. like that you can kind of double dip and still get this mold. But then if you already have another one that you that you really like. So I think that's the thing that's kind of neat about this. And I know, like, Christian and I have mentioned before that... You know, the thing that's kind of frustrated us about some of the releases is that they're so close to one another that, you know, it's like, oh, oh boy, I have uh, a greenhound and a slightly different color greenhound, you know, kind of kind of thing. So it's right. nice to get something different. I agree with that. This is that's very cool to get something different. Like this is. I didn't want anything else from this line except for him and the hot link. That was really it. And it's only because this is different. This is original. This is fun. I don't know how face. it works with my one per character rule, though. His, his it's a, it's blue a hard is day. so shiny. We'll talk about him what, next week or later. We'll talk about him. Sure, whatever. Well, this is technically that. That's the so same amazing. guy that is represented by my MMC Sphinx. So technically, it breaks by one per character rule. But no, well, this is the se- no, 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 no. This is mirage. Decepticon Mirage, completely different character. We don't know yet. We'll find out. Hopefully, we'll find out He's soon. It's June, so this show's supposed to come out. <laughs> it's not June. This, this could Wait, drop so any day. I, I have any a question, moment. Anna. If you think Decepticon Mirage is the same, or whatever, right? Like, what about Deadlock and Drift? Like, are those the same character for you? Or are those different? Huh? I don't have to worry about it. I don't have any Deadlocks. I only have a Drift. Why would you not have Deadlock? He's a cool character. Because I've never actually read any fiction with Deadlock in it. I've read fiction with Drift in it. All right, what about, like normal universe and shadow glass universe versions are those different entirely different people okay cool just check just check they're they're entirely they are, they are entirely different. different see randall joined your little crusade against june cartoon well i don't understand like why are we not going to announcement cartoon. of when it is, like when yeah. the stupid show I is I, I i'm very much for june cartoon they just haven't said anything Right. I, I'd like to see it. I'm I'm excited for it. I I very much want, I very much want to try to, at least in some capacity. You know, we we recently tried watching a little bit of cartoon together, and it worked perfectly fine. It was a little underattended, but it worked perfectly fine. So I definitely want to set up something where we at least once try to watch it together. So at least a couple of us can be disappointed together. I mean, pleasantly surprised. I think it'll be yeah, fun. One of those things. It'll be one of those things. I look forward to it because we don't really get the like serious Transformers cartoon fiction very often. So mm-hmm. let's give it another go. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. I'm excited. And maybe it'll make people want to own this guy even more. Possibly. Yeah, find out. Get. I uh, hope he's hope he's in- instrumental to the show because this is a new, a kind of new take on an old idea. Yeah, Mirage is always the one that everyone thought was a traitor, but never actually was. Now he kind of is, maybe. We'll we'll see. I, I hope it's uh, a really important part of the story. I'm excited. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good toy, too. It is like I toy. said, normal retail toy that you can get that's not disappointing is always a nice thing. You should and buy if, And if you go to Walmart. So, unfortunately, it's sold out online uh at walmart.com but uh they, it should be plentiful in most of the walmart stores so i mean i guess it always obviously depends on your walmart some are stocked better than others so I, if i am correct mirage is two per case so you shouldn't have too much of a problem finding him yeah no yeah. all right yeah i'd say he's good and <laughs> Catherine says that Mirage has finally seen the light and is joining the glorious Decepticon cause. Oh boy. Uh, uh, <laughs> so. One of these days we have to do a show where 
we have the cast talk about whether they identify as Autobot or Decepticon because it's such this, this like this thing that people do in the fandom, right? Like everybody yeah. kind of has like a direction they lean. It's true. With which faction they like more, and I'm really curious how many of us are on um, different sides of that debate. Well, we do know where Mr. Starscream stands. Ugh. Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> Look at that name. Um, Pretty obvious. And if you looked around my room, I think you could probably figure out where I stand. I'm relatively lacking in one faction or the other. There you go. You Show amazing. topic in the future. We can talk about it. Like it could be a very yeah. casual, fun topic sometime over summer. That there you go. So. You know, like, I know Rick's always pushing for drinking topics. That's definitely a topic. <laughs> there, there you go. Yeah. From the all right. who doesn't drink on the show. Um, all right, well, do we have any final thoughts? I think we all said that we like them. We all gave it yeah, a thumbs up. Good. For 20 bucks, it's a good okay. figure. So, is there anything we didn't, that we missed, or... Listeners, if you have a thought on which Netflix figure you want us to review next week, let us know. Preferably not Megatron, because Anna's waiting on hers, and we'll, we'll do that one all together. But any of the others, except Magnus. Yeah. So no Magnus, well, no Megatron. Pick another one. It probably, on, on some of them, just depending on the figure, we may do a couple at once, just because, you know, they're they're pretty similar to their, uh, you know, previous versions and whatnot, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you have a preference, let us know on any of our various social media. Yep. Um, so this is an off week for Ouch, my wallet, so that, that won't be on tomorrow. Uh, but there should be a cut the tape on Friday. Uh, there, there was a TFYLP pre-record last night up, so if anyone wants to check that out, uh, you can listen to Anna talk about why she thinks the Transformers should not be violent. Um. And, oh yeah, uh, it's one of those rare times where I disagreed with everyone else. Yep. Surprise. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so you can uh, check that out, and then uh, TF Talk News on uh, Sunday nights as well. Um, so I know there's there's been a couple weeks of craziness and whatnot, so that hasn't been up, but hopefully it should be up uh, this next week. So, um, and then I guess that's it. So. Um, and then also, if you want to continue the chat, uh, join us in the Discord. Uh, so the link should be provided on YouTube and uh, the Facebook page and all that. So if you want to uh, check that out. So it should be lots of fun. So and talk to Mr. Starscream. So. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thanks uh, for everyone participating in the chat. Uh, Randall, Catherine, Tony. Um, so and we will... See you guys and next week. On Discord. Oh, and Ron is on Discord. Yep. Thank you for your comments. We appreciate it. I guess we're yeah. safe to toss out the muffins now. There you go. Yeah, talk, talk right. to the side. We'll see you next week. 